Welcome back to the Offbit. Today we're going to be changing the hard drive out of this Dell Inspiron 3583 to an SSD. This is a very capable laptop that is crippled by a magnetic drive. Why do they do this? Anyway, we're going to fix the problem. So stick around. The Dell Inspiron 3583. This laptop has an 8th generation i5. This i5 is the 8265U. It has 4 cores and 8 threads. Base frequency is 1.6 GHz and boosts all the way up to 3.9 GHz. It has 8 GB of DDR4 RAM, has a 1 TB magnetic drive and its graphics is the Intel UHD Graphics 620. Now, I recommend most people, if they're going to buy a laptop, buy one with an SSD. It will save you power and it will run a lot faster. Now, this laptop is crippled with the magnetic drive, especially running Windows 10. Now, we're going to be upgrading the magnetic drive with this Western Digital Blue. It's a 500 gig drive, so we've got to do a bit of trickery with the partitions and we're going to image it over. So the first thing we've got to do is make the partition small enough to fit on the new drive. So go into computer management, then go down to disk management, selecting C drive you want to go to shrink volume. You'll get a prompt for the shrinking size in meg, now if you get this wrong, which I did, you can just shrink it again. Now you can see I didn't shrink it enough, so once you shrink it to the right size, so like this, you're right to go. So just make sure the C drive is under the size of your SSD. So mine's a 500 gig, but 429 is going to be perfect. To remove the drive, you're going to need a jeweler screwdriver set and a guitar pick or a spudger. Once you're ready, flip the laptop over, get your jeweler screwdriver and just remove all the screws. Now try to remember where some of these screws go. They are different lengths, a couple of these. Once all the screws are removed, flip it over, open her up, get your spudger or guitar pick out and just slip it around the edge of the top piece. Now gently pry it open. You want to flip it over and pull the back off. At this point you can access the hard drive, remove the screws and remove the cable from the drive. Once the drive is removed, it's ready to be imaged. So on the off bit, when we're doing image work, we basically use one of the test benches that I have here. So I will put the laptop drive and the new drive plugged into that, we'll boot up and I'll use this program called Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It's free. So. What we want to do, so disk 3 is our drive we want to image. Disk 2 is our SSD that we'll be installing in the laptop. You want to select disk 3 and go copy and set destination or target as disk 2. You want to set copy partitions without resizing. So select number 2 up here on the, on the radio button and select next. Hit finish and this will give you a preview of what it's going to do. So that looks pretty good. This too, it's got C drive set up now. It's marked as G, but that's just for this computer. So, but that looks pretty good. So once you're happy with everything, click apply. It's going to hit you with a few things. Are you sure you want to do this? Blah, blah, blah. So, yep. So we'll start the process. This will, this can take some time. So we'll, we're going to cut out a whole section of this because you don't want to be watching this for the next three hours or whatever time it took. It wasn't a few minutes anyway. So 
So once it's done, we'll get this applied, all the permitting changes successful, and the drive is image. Now there is 22 gig on the end. Now you can move that around, which I eventually did do, or you could leave it. So you can move those partitions around and make it fill out properly and extend C drive to its maximum capacity. Now putting back the laptop, basically just do the opposite to what we did to pulling it apart. So everything get in reverse order. So the first thing you want to do is change out the one terabyte drive for the 500 gig SSD. Screw it back together. And get that cover back on. Systems back together, we're ready to boot. From this point on, it's going to be very evident how much quicker this thing's going to be running. Now an SSD is going to save a stack of power. It's not going to be smashing that hard drive, just trying to get some of that data. And on top of that, we don't have a motor to spin anymore. So that's another plus. Alright, well that's us today on the off pit. Thank you once again for watching. Now if you like this video, hit that like. If you want to see more of this content coming, please subscribe. And don't be afraid to leave a comment in the comments. I do read them, and I'd love to help these guys if I can. Anyway, that's us. We'll catch you next time on The Off Bit.